As the pace of change speeds up, there is more complexity than ever, but there is more opportunity for those who are prepared for what lies ahead. In order to stay relevant and maintain momentum, organisations, leaders and individuals need to not just anticipate but preempt the very trends that are easy to miss if you don't know where to look. Joining us is Michael McQueen, social researcher and author. Michael McQueen. G'day Michael, welcome to the show. Since 2004, the focus of my research has been the question, what's coming next? As a colleague of mine recently put it, it's hard to outrun the future if you don't see it coming. My passion is to help clients and audiences identify the changes that are about to hit them so they can stay one step ahead. While technology is a key driver of change, too many leaders and organisations are overlooking other forms of disruption that are perhaps less dramatic but no less fundamental. The most significant of these is the enormous demographic transition about to occur in our society. As the next generation continue to make their presence known, it will be vital that institutions, brands and educators understand what makes this group tick so they can engage them in a meaningful way. But it's not just generational change we must keep track of from a consumer trends perspective. In this age of transparency, trust is getting harder to earn but matters more than ever. The marketplace today is demanding values alignment, authenticity and responsiveness from the brands and the organisations they engage with. We must maintain an open mind, a hunger to constantly learn, to try new things, to innovate, but above all, a willingness to rethink some of the very assumptions that have led to our success in the past. That's when the most powerful innovation that will keep you at the cutting edge will come from. In the words of the great Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, resisting change is a little bit like trying to hold your breath. Even if you are successful, it's not going to end well. While that observation is over two and a half thousand years old, it's perhaps never been truer than today.